The big thing to get across here is this target bit rate. This is what's going to give you a very large file size or a very small file size. What's up there, YouTube fam? Javier Mercedes here for a Premiere Pro tutorial about downsizing your video files in Premiere Pro or Adobe Media Encoder to send to a client or send to somebody else. My name is Javier Mercedes and I'm a video editor, a videographer, and I love all those kind of things. So if you're into that, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Here's the situation. I recently just got done with an interview with another other YouTuber, Will Stinton. In order to do this interview, I live in Austin, Texas, and he lives in Los Angeles, California. I asked him to record his video on a DSLR while I was recording mine on my point and shoot, which is all great. But when we got done with the interview, he has to get me those files. And those video files ended up being more than 34 gigs. You got to get that file size down. So we're doing an interview on YouTube. So I don't, I'm not really concerned about having 34 gigabytes worth of footage. But what we can do is we can export it and compress or downsize that video file size, and then he can send me those compressed videos. So let's go ahead and take it to the computer. All right, so for this example, here's my files. As you can see, 10 gigabytes, nine gigabytes, and so forth. So I'm going to bring these into Premiere Pro, let it do its thing, and I'm going to drag them into here. And here are all my files. Now there's two things you could do here. You could highlight everything and then export all of these files as one as one video file, or you could go through and export each separate one. For the first one, you set your in and out point by highlighting it and clicking the question mark key. That sets your in and out point on the things that you highlighted. So if I were to highlight all three of these, I would hit question mark and then it would highlight all three of these. Now, whatever I export from this in and out point, that is what will go to my media encoder. The other thing that you can do is you can go click on the timeline anywhere and then hit I for in and then say I want over here, click O for out. Now that will be your in and out points. Moving on. Let's say I just want to do this first clip. Now what I want to do is go to file export media. Just to start off with, I'm just gonna do something like YouTube 1080p as the preset. The big thing to get across here is this target bit rate. This is what's going to give you a very large file size or a very small file size. To give you an idea, the Sony RX100 shoots at 50 megabytes per second. So it makes no sense whatsoever for me to go above 50 megabytes because there's no extra information there. You're not getting anything from that. The cap is at 50 megabytes. What YouTube has as its preset inside Premiere is actually at 1080p, it's only at 16. So you're going from 50 megabytes down to 16. And I don't really need all 16 of those. What you can get by with is something like five target bit rate and a uh, six maximum bit rate. So what's happening is it's switching the bit rate as the video is playing back, whether there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in the background. Notice that none of these pixels are changing, right? So there will be no need for the camera to reanalyze and change those. But I'm moving here in the foreground, so there's some bit rate going on. And if there's a lot of movement on the camera, then it will go up to a max of six megabytes per second. But for something stagnant where it's just me in this frame and all those other pixels are staying the same, then it's gonna just kind of stay in that five megabyte bit rate range, that target bit rate range. There's two ways to go about this. You could hit export, but that's gonna tie up your Premiere and your computer and other things like that. So what I would do is I would go hit Q. That's gonna bring up your media encoder. Also, Tip, if your queue does not come up, all you gotta do is go to workspaces and revert workspace. Then that will bring up your queue. Sometimes when I bring up media encoder, for some reason my queue doesn't pop up. Here's my file. Click right here to output file and make sure the file exports to where you want it to. Now that I've set that up, all I gotta do is hit play and boom. It's exporting in the background and I don't have to do a single thing, but just let it do its thing. Now, if you have a whole bunch of files, all you got to do is just let that cook overnight and let it export overnight. And then you will end up with a file size that is much shorter. This is the raw file, 1.65 gigs. And then this is the exported compressed file, the H.264 and it's at 171 megabytes. That's a huge difference. Here is the compressed file. And here is the raw file. 
you guys be the judge. Is there a big difference in what you see? Is there not? Let me know down in the comments down below. I think nobody's really gonna tell unless you have to do some heavy coloring or something of that nature. All right, so let's say you don't even wanna touch Premiere. Let's say you have maybe a whole bunch of GoPro files or something. Let's just say you have a whole bunch of footage that you just want to compress and make s smaller file sizes so you can get them out to whoever your editor is or you just need to send them across the internet. So instead of bringing things straight into Premiere, what we can do is we can go straight to Media Encoder. How that looks is I have my six files right here, right? We go to Media Encoder. This one's already exporting. And all you got to do is drag them straight in to your queue. This will load them up. Notice how I'm able to do this while my other one's exporting. It's so cool that you can do this. All right, so now that the files are imported, I'm going to go through, click here. I'm going to hit OK. And it's just saying like, hey, you are about to change all of these. And I'm, I'm OK with that. So again, I'm going to go to YouTube 1080p, go down here, click five, then six. And whatever you, you can get a gauge for what the file size is going to be by this number right here. So let's say I hit three. Now see this, it goes down to 613. And if I go over here, I click seven. Now it's going to be about a gig in 300 megabytes. I just like sticking with five. I don't really like to go below five. So now this is gonna be about a gig as opposed to 10 gigs. So I can hit okay and boom, all the rest of your files are now going to follow suit with that five, six target bit rate. And all you would have to do is hit play and let that just cook and render all of your files. So there you go. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope it was quick enough. Leave me a like, leave me a dislike. Tell me how I can improve my content for the future. If you haven't checked out Will Stinton, go ahead and check him out. Till next time, Javier out.